Rovers, fourth place before yesterday's kick-off and still in with a shout of going up. They met under pressure Airdrie at Starks Park. The beleaguered Diamonds hoping to improve on recent form and the Fifers aiming to keep the pressure on at the top of the table. You, David. With all eyes in the top three, the message from Kirkcaldy is a stark one. Don't discount Rovers. Their win over Dunfermline last week kept them in the promotion race and they knew the value of following up with another three points. Rovers setting their sights with Ansa Owusu bringing out the best of former Wraith keeper Scott Thompson. And then the breakthrough, Owusu involved again, it's Burns with the drive, and Craig Dargo with the follow-up. Give that boy a hand. Thompson could surely have asked for more protection from his defence. And Burns might have added to Rovers' lead, good work by Diddy Agathy. Thompson again denying his former side. Peter Heatherston's nickname as a player was silky and perhaps his own playing style is beginning to rub off on his team. The manager at his best could hardly have bettered this exchange. And goal scorer Owusu wouldn't have seen many better moves than that at Wimbledon. Heatherston still demanding more from his men. Airdrie looked down and out at that stage and even when they tried to fight back, now Thompson's effort perhaps summed up the past few weeks for Gary Mackay's men. And the visitors had Thompson to thank for keeping the score down. Agathy in agony as a keeper again excels. <laughs> now, a tasty piece of skill from the man they called Toasty. Burns decided to go it alone. All that was missing was a finish. And Jay Steen set up a late chance for both Toshies. By then the game was won and Rovers bubbling under.